You're watching Satledge TV News, I'm Angus Scott in London. Khalistan campaigner Gurpatwant Singh Panoon has shown defiance against what he calls India's terrorism in an interview. Speaking with Time magazine in the US, the leader of the Sikhs for Justice organization was asked his reaction to news that US authorities had thwarted an assassination attempt on him by agents of the Indian government. In a reasoned and calm discussion, Panoon told Time magazine he was aware of the plot against his life and, dismissing the personal threat, he called it instead a challenge to American sovereignty, freedom of speech and the very foundations of democracy. Referring to Narendra Modi's tactic of labelling political opponents as terrorists, Panoon highlighted the fact that he ranked 11th on India's terrorism list, despite having always campaigned peacefully and within the law. A fact endorsed by Interpol, who rejected any terrorism charges levelled against him by India. And in response, Padoon emphasised that unlawful political assassinations, such as the killing of Hardeep Singh Nijar and now the threat against his own life by agents of India, were themselves acts of terrorism undertaken by the Indian government. In the interview, Panoon reminded the world of the decades of repression and mistreatment of Sikhs in the Punjab, and particularly referred to the extrajudicial killings of hundreds of thousands of Sikhs by the Indian state in what he called the Punjab killing fields. This had driven a mass exodus of Sikhs from Punjab to diaspora countries around the world. As a result, many Sikhs now actively campaign for an independent homeland to free themselves of the ongoing threat from India. And Panoon admitted the reason he was a target of India was for being the driving force behind the democratic Khalistan referendum campaign now developing into an increasing threat to Modi's government. He stated how the entire campaign had been run peacefully following normal democratic protocols, something he accuses India of deliberately avoiding. The right of self-determination was fundamental to democracy which he accuses Narendra Modi of suppressing with violence and state terrorism. And highlighting typical misinformation tactics by the Indian government, his recent call to boycott Air India had been manipulated by state-controlled Indian media into claims that he had demanded the airline be bombed, evidently false. Determined to continue his fight for the democratic rights of Punjabi Sikhs, despite the threat of an Indian assassination squad, Panoon remained defiant finally stating that he would continue with the Khalistan re referendum campaign, as he says, even if somebody tells me there's going to be an Indian tank coming to crush me if I do. You've been watching Satlo's TV News, and don't forget to click on that subscribe button to make sure you get to see stories as they're broadcast. And of course, if you have any comments or opinions on any of our news stories, you can comment below, or indeed drop us a direct message at message at satlodgetv.com. We would love to hear from you. In the meantime, thanks for watching for Satlo's TV News. I'm Angus Scott in London.